Hey everyone, it's Mikkel Thorpe here from expatmoney.com. And in today's video, we will look at how you can get top-notch healthcare in Panama for pennies on the dollar. First, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on those notifications to get the best info on the expat world every single week. Rising healthcare costs in the United States and an endemic waiting list in Canada have made some individuals increasingly interested in medical tourism in other countries. Panama, with one of the highest quality healthcare systems in Latin America, is an increasingly attractive option for people. The Panamanian healthcare system is both private and public. The public system is divided into two components provided by the government. The first is Caja de Seguro Social, CSS, which is the equivalent of a social security system. And the other is Ministerio de Salud, MINSA, which translates to the Ministry of Health. Residents who work in Panama and pay into coverage for free treatment by CSS. Meanwhile, MINSA is in place to deal with anyone who does not have coverage by CSS and offers very inexpensive treatment. Expat residents who work in Panama may pay in and have coverage from the CSS system, but even if not, you can still use CSS or MINSA clinics on a pay-as-you-go basis. While public health care offers reasonable care, most expats prefer private option. Though significantly more expensive than a visit to a MINSA clinic or public hospital, private health care in Panama is still quite affordable by North American standards. Panamanian doctors frequently speak in English and many attended medical school in the United States or specialists trained internationally. Private hospitals in Panama feature substantially reduced waiting times, a more customer service oriented approach on the part of the staff and more advanced technology and superior medical procedures and generally a higher standard of medical care and medical equipment. In a study of U.S. retirees living abroad in Mexico and Panama, respondents overwhelmingly described the level of attention and time they received from physicians to be substantially better than what they were used to at home. Those surveyed in this study primarily relied upon private hospitals and found the quality to be similar to what they were used to in the United States at a much lower price. And by law, Panamanian retirees are entitled to a 20 to 25 percent discount on their doctor bills. While the quality of care in Panama is similar to what you might find in North America or Europe, healthcare services cost a fraction of what you might pay elsewhere, even at private hospitals. Public hospitals are also a reasonable and much cheaper, but delays or overcrowding may sometimes cause you to have some issues. Healthcare insurance plans can be purchased to cover catastrophic care, but many people choose to self-insure because most visits to the doctor are so expensive anyways. Now let's look at some of the top hospitals in Panama. First up is Hospital Punta Pacifica. Hospital Punta Pacifica is a pristine medical facility with state-of-the-art equipment located in downtown Panama City and only 15 minutes from the international airport Tucumán. Founded in 1999, Punta Pacifica is affiliated with the Johns Hopkins Medical Institution and is widely considered to be one of the best hospitals in Central America. In 2016, they were the site of the first heart transplant in Panamanian history. The recipient of the heart transplant was a 51-year-old Panamanian woman. There is also Paitia Hospital in Panama City. It's one of the oldest hospitals in Panama. They are best known for their oncology unit and their specialist centers for radiology and imaging, cancer treatment, cardiac catheterization, and critical care for newborns and adults. Another highly rated private hospital in Panama City is Clinica Hospital San Fernando. San Fernando Hospital, as it is known to English speakers. San Fernando Hospital handles a wide range of medical specialities, such as cardiac surgeons, dentists, dialysis specialists, imaging, neurosurgeon, pediatricians, vascular surgeons, and much more. Since its inception as the first private hospital in the Republic of Panama in 1949, the Clinica Hospital San Fernando has strived to provide first-rate medical care to its customers. In 2011, they were accredited by the Joint Commission International, an NGO that provides accreditation to hospitals around the world. Another private hospital in Panama City is the Hospital Nacional. Hospital Nacional opened on July 9th in 1973, 
It was originally named Clinica Nacional or informally Clinica de la Mujer, as they specialized in OBGYN services, but today it has grown into a fully-fledged medical facility. This hospital features an emergency room, a 24-7 operating room capable of handling all major surgeries, pharmacology department, blood bank, medical imaging, physical therapy, and much more. Hospital Nacional is renowned for the high level of care patients receive in their facilities. The city of David is also home to two private hospitals. The David Cherokee Hospital is a full-service private hospital used by many expats. The David Hospital offers a discount health program where doctors and hospital charges are reduced by 50%. So that is definitely something to look into if you're planning to live in or near David. Alternatively, the May Lewis Hospital is another private facility used by many expats. I want to conclude by summarizing the reasons that people come to Panama for healthcare. With onerous regulations making it difficult for private healthcare options to develop in the United States and my birth country of Canada, many people are choosing medical tourism as a means for escaping endemic waiting lists. Cosmetic surgery, operations to correct obesity, hip and knee replacements, and LASIK eye surgery are only a few of the procedures opted for in Panama. Of course, cosmetic surgery prices and all other procedures vary per the factor involved. Thousands of Canadians die every year while waiting for medical treatment, and countless more suffer needlessly unable to access so-called elective treatments. Why wait a year or two for an MRI in Canada when you could spend a few hundred dollars and get it scanned right away in Panama? With very few private options in Canada, the choice for people who don't want to wait endlessly is to get on a plane and come down to Panama for excellent health care and affordable prices. For Americans, hospital visits can be very expensive, even if you have insurance. Prolonged health problems can mean tens of thousands of dollars in hospital bills. While the standard of medical care at American facilities is generally excellent, nobody wants to experience medical bankruptcy. Even just high costs of medical insurance can be a tough pill to swallow. And with operations in Panama costing you just a fraction of what you would pay in the United States, medical tourism can be a sound financial choice for many, especially if you don't have insurance. And if you are an expat in Panama, you can enjoy top quality health care all year round. Between the high standards of care, the fact that many medical professionals in Panama speak English and Spanish, and the reasonable prices, there is much to be recommended about Panamanian healthcare for prospective expats or medical tourists. Panama has many world-class hospitals and capable foreign-trained doctors that can handle virtually any medical situation. Dental care is also significantly less expensive in Panama, and even smaller towns and cities will often have many dental clinics and providers to choose from. Expat groups like our forum at expatmoneyforum.com can be a great resource for recommendations and reviews of different doctors, dentists, and clinics. Wrapping up, here are some approximate charges for healthcare services in Panama. Doctor consultations and house calls cost at most 45 US dollars. Lab test services cost 50% of the pricing in the United States. Inpatient services cost less than 100 US dollars a night. Teeth cleaning at dentists costs around 90 US dollars. Eye examinations are absolutely free as long as you purchase your glasses from them. You can bring any prescription drugs currently you take with you. Should you find that you have left a medication that you need at home, there will be a pharmacia or pharmacy of just about every corner of the city, and they often have an impressive selection of pharmaceuticals. Many medications that require a prescription in the United States or Canada do not require a prescription in Panama. Pharmacia clerks can usually look up medications and you may be able to have your prescriptions filled without a doctor's prescription. Should that not be the case, seeing a doctor or ordering a renew of a prescription will not be an expensive proposition. To sum it all up, Panama is a wonderful country for medical tourism, treatments, and ongoing healthcare. There are many facilities that offer top-notch healthcare services with state-of-the-art equipment and a much lower cost than you will find at the USA, Canada, or even European countries. If you wish to learn more information on medical tourism, you can check the links in the description of this video where we list some of the best countries for medical tourism and give yourself some peace of mind if you ever need an appointment or a procedure that your country would be overly expensive. 
If relocating to Panama interests you and you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me on getting out of your home country or setting up a plan B location, then read the important letter linked in the description of this video and fill in an application form to become a private client. My fees are not cheap. However, I can assure you that when you work with a professional firm like ours, the results will be worth it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications on this channel. And while you're at it, make sure to bookmark expatmoney.com, which is also where you can reach out to my team for assistance with the programs that we discussed today.